is round two, round two of me trying to get this video made. Uh, without further ado, I'm just going to jump into it. I have for me my recommendations of some rules of, ad of etiquette and also some advice to give for the newbie and or freshman soaper. I'm going to go ahead and jump into it because I don't want my videos to be too wordy, okay? All right. So, rule number one. Before you ask questions, research. Use Google, Yahoo, Soap Making Forum, Nature's Garden, Soap Queen. Um, Kindle has the free ebooks. And now I'm going to show you some books that I use. Natural Soap Making. Can you see it? The Handmade Soap Making Book. 300 handcrafted soaps. Milk based soap making. Candle and soap making for dummies. The Everything Soap Making Book. The Enrollment Therapy Encyclopedia. Soap making. 500 formulations for aromatherapy. I attended classes to get these aromatherapy books. The Complete Body Massage. Some of you may make um, massage bars, whatever. These will help. Soap Maker. Soap Making Companion. Okay? These books are dog-eared. Dog I use them a lot. Okay? So... You have resources out there. We all have family, school, a job outside of our own businesses. And this is why we ask you to research first because a lot of times your answers are in these books, um, these threads, these files. Also, we don't mind helping, but you have to show that you are not asking us to spoon feed you, okay? And also, a lot of us ask, why would you go into business if you haven't fully researched how to do, what to do, and when to do it? Why? So that's another reason why some uh, people aren't that interested in helping you. Also, don't become offended if somebody does not want to answer your question or share. There is no law that says they have to. Don't be offended. Um, also, being a part of a group or a forum is a privilege, not a right. And when I was discussing this with one of my fellow uh, soap makers or Bath and Body, she makes more than just soap. She was the one who actually said this to me. This is not something I came up with. She said, these people think that being in one of these groups is a right and it's actually a privilege. And it is. You don't have to be let in and you can easily be kicked out. So remember that when, you know, something happens that you don't quite like. You don't always have to respond, or if you do feel like you need to respond, try to private message that person and ask, you know, was this coming across the way that I took it? Because sometimes it seemed like it was being rude and abrupt and the person didn't mean it at all. They just don't put smiley faces or quirky faces when they're talking because they don't do it in real life, I don't think. So they don't do it in their writing. So remember that. Also, imitation is not considered flattery to a lot of these business women or men that are professionals at this, okay? If their soap design was actual uh, literary or literature or journalistic effort, it'd be considered plagiarism. They feel it's the same thing. Imitation is not flattery. Ask, ask permission first, okay? Also, when you do get into these groups, read the rules before you post. Read the description of the group before you post. Read the files listed under files before you post, okay? This will cut down on a lot of confusion. It'll cut down on a lot of redundancy. It'll cut down on what might seem like a lot of cattiness, okay? Also, um, remember that somebody might be responding from their phone, so they may not write this entire dissertation. They may dash off a quick couple of lines and let that be it until they can get to their tablet or their laptop or their PC. So don't take offense if you post a question and it takes six hours. Again, we all have lives and we might be doing something that we cannot give you a long answer right then and there. Learn to be patient, okay? Also, um, 
don't be offended if somebody doesn't want to be your Facebook friend. Don't immediately start asking for resources or recipes as soon as you get into a group. Remember those tools that I mentioned under rule one? Use them. Um, asking for recommendations is fine if, one, you've already looked yourself and what you found is confusing you, or two, you are, let's say, looking for a really good key lime scent and you're saying, hey, you know what, I've read up on these two and I'm just wondering, I'm trying to narrow it down, what do you all think? That's fine. Personal recommendations like that, it's fine. We don't have any problems, well, most of us don't have problems with that. But just remember, make sure that if you're asking a question and you're not being needy, that you make sure it comes across as you're not being needy, okay? Also, almost every state has a small business bureau or a small business association as well as a Department of Revenue and a Department of Labor. If you're going into business, check these resources first before you ask people, oh, well, you know, can you tell me this and can you tell me that and who in this state, um, what was your process? Now, it can be different if you say, hey, I'm in Arizona. I got this form to fill out da 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 I'm part of this guild and the guild and, and this uh, information that I got from this place is not matching up. Is anybody else in Arizona who's been through this? Am I missing a step? Something like that. Most of the time, I would say 99.99% of the time, that's just like, oh yeah, I've done that before. It's changed. Don't worry about it. When you file this, that, or the other, it'll come, become clear or they'll send you that or hey, you don't need that because you are manufacturing as well as selling at your space. Okay, so that kind of stuff is different from just saying, y'all y'all just hold my hand and walk me through this. No. Also, remember, if you are going to offer coupons, Groupons, Clucks Bucks, whatever, make sure you put on there no cash value. Or even if you're offering a percentage off, no cash value. Because what that will do is keep someone from saying, well, I have this Groupon, or this, I have this coupon for $25, eh, I don't want the product, I just want the $25. And you say, no, I'm not gonna give you that. They can actually take you to small claims court, and in most states they'll win, I know in South Carolina, they will win unless you put no cash value on there, okay? So, this is my video. This is not meant to pop anybody's hands. This is meant to help you, maybe give you something to think about. As always, please, 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 post your questions, rebuttals, retorts, whatever. Keep it clean, keep it classy. Love you, Rose Garden. Thank you so much.